Hey Chattery, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be talking about the new show Black Lightning. I'll be basically telling you a little bit about the show and uh, my thoughts about it so far. It is a brand new show, it's only had two episodes so far, so um, it's still really new, but um, I'm loving it so far, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. If you're new to this channel, please make sure you click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below what are your thoughts on this show so far. If you're not aware of this show, I don't know where you have been, but The CW has a new show called Black Lightning, which airs on Tuesdays at 9 p.m. This show stars Chida and McLean, who plays the rebel teenage daughter Jennifer, and this is a very different role from her. This show also stars Chris Williams, who plays Black Lightning, and he also plays plays the principal when he's not Black Lightning because at this point in the show he's currently um, not full on Black Lightning yet so his regular everyday persona is his principal and basically like a leader in this community he's looked up to um, people are kind of giving him that role of the person that is supposed to handle things that are going wrong in their school and in their community even though no one knows that he's Black Lightning um, yet at this point. The show also stars Nafisa Williams or Nafessa, I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying her name correctly, and she plays the oldest daughter who is a med student, a teacher at the school, and also she is someone who is active in her community, um, being a community activist. And in the very first episode, we see that she actually gets arrested. The in this show is amazing and it's just one of the reasons why I love this show so far. The show is based on the DC Comics character Black Lightning and this show joins the other popular DC Comics character TV shows that the CW has made such as The Arrow, Supergirl, and The Flash. And um, I'm not sure if there are anymore. If there are, let me know. Automatically what makes the show different is that this show is about a black superhero and his family and there's really not anything else like that on TV and I don't know if anyone else has really done this before and done it in this way. I think it's interesting that this show is not only focusing on uh, the story of a black superhero and his family, but it's also talking about relevant black issues that are relevant today. And I think that is due to the writers and the people that are creating the show. So in the first episode, we get introduced to Black Lightning, his daughters, his ex-wife, the gang that Black Lightning is basically going to be at war with, and also the character that is probably going to be the villain of this show. We also get a little bit of his back history, of why his, him and his ex-wife aren't together, why he stopped being Black Lightning, and um, issues that are going on throughout the community that he's living in and the school that he's teaching in, which is a huge part um, of the show and of these first two episodes. So the first scene starts off with Jefferson Pierce, who is actually Black Lightning, but his human form, and um, his daughters um, being pulled over by the cops. And this scene just showed how the cops were using their authority. They didn't explain to him what he was being pulled over for. They asked him to get out of the car. They weren't explaining what was happening. Then they went on to cuff him in front of his daughters um, very forcibly. And it turned out that the only reason why they pulled him over was because they had some old lady in the car who said that she was robbed or something like that and all that they knew was that it was a black person. They didn't know anything else about it and they showed him to the woman and she said no that, that, was, that it wasn't him and then the cops just let him go. And um, unfortunately it is a scene that we are all too familiar with and that's just not something that they just made up in the story. It's lots of black people's everyday lives. And the show is showing that although he's a superhero and although he's a leader in his community, he is still not hot sleep from the everyday issues that black people deal with the struggles the racism and the discrimination and um i think it's amazing because lots of shows um you know don't address those things and um the cw usually doesn't address those things so um i think that is one of the things that is going to make this show stand out in a pretty great way the first episode was a very action-filled episode i don't think there was any time throughout that episode where i was bored yeah because there was just so much going on so i'm not going to go in detail about every little thing that happened because um you guys should probably watch it and if you haven't watched it then you probably should stop this video go watch it then come back to this video because i don't want to spoil anything for you because the first episode was really really amazing we see how rebellious his teenage daughter is even though her father is a principal of the school she's in her school doing things that she shouldn't be she's drinking she's talking about sneaking out and going to parties in the first episode she goes to this party that she should definitely not be at when she's supposed to be at this event that um is basically kind of like honoring her father and the school 
school and she sneaks off and she goes to a party where there's like drinking and smoking and we see her smoking and when I first saw that scene where China and McLean was smoking I, I was just so shocked because I'm like I remember when she was like eight nine years old on TV and now she's smoking and it just made me feel so old but um I love this role on her it's very different and it's like a darker role at the same time but um yeah so she goes to this party and um she is talking to this guy who is a part of the gang and her father finds out that she's there and he goes there to rescue his daughter let's fast forward some in the episode um the youngest daughter jennifer and the oldest See, daughter nessa they end up getting kidnapped like by the gang called the 100 which is like the most powerful gang in their community here. black lightning has to come in again to save the day because he has no choice because the cops really aren't doing much so he's forced to put on his suit and become black lightning again even though it's something that he really doesn't want and so we are getting like a little peek of him doing his black lightning thing and also of his powers so basically we are seeing in the first episode of black lightning his family and this double life that he doesn't want to live and the tension between him and the gang and we also get a sneak peek at his oldest daughter Anissa who is basically starting to develop powers also yeah so I thought that this episode was really amazing I think that the combination of the actors the writing and um, the people that are producing this show just makes for a very different kind of show in 2018 that people want to see. There were so many people tweeting about Black Lightning. I was surprised because there wasn't that much promo um, like right before the show came out. So I didn't know if a lot of people were going to be tuning in or not. But And it seemed to be something that lots of people were liking. And I absolutely love it. And there's a lot of action. There's a lot of things going on in the show. And I think that um, this show is going to be a hit in 2018. I mean, I just think it is. And I hope that it gets a second season. And second episode is out right now. So um, I have not done a recap on that yet. Um, let me know if you guys um, would like to see a recap of the second episode as well. So that's going to be it for this video. This video is very different for this channel. But it is 2018. And I'm all about trying new and different things in 2018. And so I want to add more content on this channel. Talking about pop culture and film and TV. Yeah, so let me know what you guys thought about the show and about the episode and um, if you guys would like to see more recaps of this show or a different show let me know that too thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video